If you are looking into buying cheap and safe FIFA coins, look no further than footcoinshop.net. They have the fastest service, an incredible loyalty reward system, and the best prices around. Use my creator code INCEPTION when you sign up for your account and get a 5% discount with your order. Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, today we have the new Rudiger to check out. Uh, we're taking a look at someone who is six foot three, high, high work rates, right footed, four star skills, day five star, weak foot. Uh, player traits in game, he's got flair, long passer, long shot taker, power header, as well as the outside foot shots. In game attributes, this is how the card is formatted. So, with Rudiger, you're going to either line him up in one of two different ways, right? So obviously, it's a card that people are going to be using in a striker position. For the most part, uh, we are going to be using him in a 4-4-2 setup on the stay central get him behind instruction. So we'll kind of see how it kind of works with his uh, high, high work rates, right? Uh, but the two different ways that I see the card being used is obviously going to be um, on the lengthy accelerate, which to be honest, the basic looks like the best bet for because you boost the dribbling area of the card considering the fact he's six foot three uh, with a high and average plus body type, but you also improve certain areas of the card that can be very helpful, like physical, passing, and that kind of stuff. Uh, with Rudiger, you could also give him an artist chemistry style if you don't necessarily care about the lengthy because his pace to be fair, is already in a pretty decent area at a 96 for acceleration, 99 for sprint speed, because more importantly, the agility boost is absolutely massive, right? So you can give that to the card. In my opinion, I feel like if you choose yourself to use a card like this, it's because you have the intention of using him with a lengthy, right? Because at that point, if you want players to feel more responsive with the left stick, then you use a different type of body type, right? So uh, we are mostly going to be trying him out on the basic, to see how he kind of performs with that kind of stuff. Um, he's going to be well-rounded in the pace department on a lengthy, good stuff there. Shooting, obviously, going to be in a good area at a 99 for shot power, 99 for long shots. Finishing at a 93. We'll be experimenting with that because he does have the five-star weak foot, like I said, with, you know, some pretty decent traits, right? The outside foot shot, a lot of times when it comes to shooting at a cross goal, works out very nicely. Uh, passing on the card going to be in a good area. Dribbling we'll be experimenting with because he is six foot three with a high and average plus body type. Uh, he has some defensive stats, which can be helpful in the attacking areas, especially with the high, high work rate. And then he also has some pretty decent physical capabilities too. So yeah, we'll be using, we'll be using him mainly in a four, four, two formation being on the stay central, getting behind instruction. And yeah, we'll see how he plays, man. Hopefully he's a beast. Oh man, maybe I should have law pass that instead. Oh, the pass was behind him. Unlucky. Well, definitely plays like a very, very obvious high high. Ooh, there it is. Five star weak foot, super noticeable on that strike. Almost, but I got that one little touch there. Keeping their opponents moving and guessing. Rudiger. Good pressure high up the pitch. Initial touch let me down there. This man will get most of the plaudits for his contribution up to this point, Stuart. Well, I really liked his first half display. He was certainly the most influential player on the field. And I'm expecting more of the same in the second Huge drag touch. Huge, huge drag touch. Be mindful of those for sure. Oof. His uh his positioning was good there. Could have had an opportunity. Yeah. 
He does have the weak foot for it, right? So if I get that one little angle for the run, he'll be able to score it. Especially on that stay central, getting behind instruction, kind of playing to that high, high work rate of his. Ah, see, I try to work a small little angle just to go for the weak foot strike, but obviously couldn't get it off in time. Huh. Scoring everything with his weak foot, eh? That's why, man. That's something I always tell you guys, man. Like, having the weak foot being a five star, like, it's the same thing with Kavara Tadio. Like, when I was using him, I scored so many goals with his weak foot. Because whatever situation presents itself, like, you got to shoot with that foot, you know? Well, we'll take that. We'll take that. Unlucky, and that should be my ball too, but manual defending. Oh, I thought I was going to have uh, attacker advantage with the header there. Oh, I tried to do a first time skill move there, but it didn't, it didn't register. Tap shot. Nice. One little angle right there. That's all we need. Yep. Croquetta into the acceleration. A lengthy will carry him. Scores the opportunity. Good stuff. Oh, I should have law passed it. That was stupid. Sure. Is that Mbappe's goal? <laughs> oh, dude, this game's so funny, man. Oh, that was weird. I tried to do a skill moment. He flicked it instead. He did a first time bounce pass or a bounce touch. Excuse me. Good pass. I don't even know how that works, but sure. There it is. Work with the lengthy. I could have made the extra pass there, but I didn't have to. His finishing came off great on a basic too. Oh, Chris Smalling with that high, man. That was a really good pass by Rudiger. Really, really good pass. Pretty decent there as well. Sure. I don't. Even, I don't even know what happened there. I'm gonna. I'm gonna be honest. I don't know. I, I couldn't tell you. Passes are pretty good, eh? A chance to whip it in. Might go ahead. 
it didn't initially do what I wanted to do because I saw him making that run. So I wanted to make the pass to him specifically, but I'll take it. Oh, I probably should have gone for the near pulse there. I think he used manual goalkeeping too. Oh, we'll take that. Why not? Take that Rudiger, nice. I think he was offside. I don't know. Hard to tell. That was a bad giveaway by him. I don't. He doesn't mean to do that. This game is really bad. Like, because it doesn't let you do an overhand pass. So, like, he he does it. He just gives me the ball because of that. Well, at least Rudiger got to it first. Oh, imagine I get an outside foot shot with him. Well, good defending. Plattered out of there. Payet. The referee correctly decided to play advantage. <laughs> imagine if I actually got that skill move off of him. Good. Good build up play. If I just got that one pass off, Rudiger is gone. Wow, from behind too, eh? I think he used manual goalkeeping there too. We'll take it though. We'll take it. Okay, guys. So final verdict on the new Rudiger card. So you know how Jonathan David has like the high, high work rates and he really does play to the high, high work rates. Very similar situation to this Rudiger card, right? So let's say, for instance, you guys were to line up in like that 4 one 2 and 2 that I showed you guys from the pro player where you have a card like this in that left striker area where if I remember correctly, I had like a target man instruction. It would be perfect for Rudiger because he's kind of physical oriented, right? So obviously when you're using him in game, here's the thing, guys, right? You can give him an artist if you want to, but I feel like there's no point in doing that for a card like this because you're doing you're using a card like this with the knowledge that he's physical oriented. You know what I'm saying? To kind of utilize uh, the pace of the card as much as possible on that lengthy, in my opinion, right? Because you could see different goal scoring opportunities that we got because the length he carried him into pushing himself into those areas to score those opportunities right so when i had him on a basic again the agility and balance is obviously going to be noticeable he is six foot three with a high and average plus body type for sure you have to work with that a little bit try to use a lot of like r1 l1 dribbling because when it's just the left stick it'll be rough sometimes right but moving past that on the card it is a pretty good physical type striker right I will say that for personal preference, I would prefer to have a different work rate to the high high. I said the same thing about Jonathan David too, uh, because I think for the meta of this game, it just makes more sense to be either like a high medium or a high low in the striker position. Because high high, it's um, it's an authentic tactic, but it doesn't work the way I'd like it to on a consistent basis. This is completely personal preference based, by the ways. But you can see on a consistent basis that when it comes to the buildup, even on the stay central getting behind instruction, he plays like a high high. It's like a Harry Kane, basically. Like come forward or come close, push forward, come close, push forward, right? That type of uh play style is definitely very noticeable when it comes to using Rudiger in game. But listen, we score a lot of opportunities with him. Uh the five star weak foot is obviously a huge deal to work with because if we don't have that there's so many different goal scoring opportunities that we probably don't get if he doesn't have it right so for the tap shots for the power strikes like that very first goal that we scored 
was a really, really good finish because of the base card stats of shot power being at a 99 with 93 finishing being decent enough as long as I hit that green time strike, right? So for me personally, I enjoyed using the card for what it was. Again, physical type strikers are not usually like the high tier meta to use in this game. Like you have to go to like Cristiano Ronaldo to be high tier meta uh, to be like a physical type player because everyone prefers to have like the Mbappes and stuff. But you can definitely make this card work for sure. Again, I was using him in the 4-4-2 formation. He was playing next to Mbappe, so that balance of having Mbappe with Rudiger, it makes more sense, right? Because he's the high, high, push forward, come or come close, push forward, is the play style that you work with to kind of score your opportunities for the most part, right? So um, it was still pretty cool. 4-4-2 tactic will be uh, reviewed at some point because I, I still have to use like Depay and Van Persie for that as well. I don't know if I'll get my hands on, Van, on, um, on Pele, but yeah, as a physical type striker, like I said, guys, the only thing that you'll notice is the dribbling. Could you technically give him a huge agility boost to boost the dribbling? Sure, but he's still going to feel like a six foot three player at a high and average plus body type. So that left stick part, you can improve a little bit for sure. But obviously making him a lengthy player kind of makes the most sense for some nice, consistent finishing for the most part. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video today. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.